Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker with Tools. Today I got curious and I wanted to see just how many drills DeWalt currently has for sale in their cordless lineup. And you'll be surprised at the number we found. Let's get into that tonight on Tinker with Tools. Now, what I'm about to show you is going to be the complete collection of drills I currently own from DeWalt. This is a lot of drills. It can get confusing and even intimidating if you are new to the tool lineup. So I wanted to go ahead and discuss the different categories, in my opinion, of drills that you can get from DeWalt. We'll talk about some preferred drills I'll have. I may even give you some advice on drills to stay away from. Now, keep in mind, I do not own every drill that DeWalt has out there on sale. I'll try and mention the ones that I don't and kind of where I do imagine they would sit in here. But we'll go ahead and go through each one of these groupings and we'll talk about them in detail. All right, so the first three that we are gonna be talking about is the DeWalt 12 volt extreme lineup. Now, one of the drills that I am missing is their prior generation of DeWalt 12 volt drill, which you can still in fact buy on Lowe's website. Avoid that drill at all cost. It's not worth it. It's not that good of a deal. It's actually more expensive in that kit form than most of these here. Now the rest of these are going to be the DeWalt 12 volt extreme, as I mentioned. They are all brushless drills. First off we have over here, we have the brushless drill driver. Then we have our hammer drill. And then we have over here, the more versatile one, which is going to be kind of their installation drill driver or their five in one. There we've done a video, a full video on this, but essentially the motor in each one of these drills is exactly the same. They all have the exact same specs. They all have the exact same power output. So let's go ahead and just do some quick testing. We'll show you some results and then we'll go ahead and let you know which one of these I think is worth your time and money. All right, so there you have it. There's the performance. These are essentially the same. Tonight, I believe these two were virtually identical. I mean, there'll be a time difference, I bet. This one w felt like it was a little bit underpowered compared to the other two. It seemed to want to tap out a little bit earlier. I haven't ever felt like it's the most powerful uh, five in one, or but it's never felt underpowered for what it is and for the types of jobs you might do for it. So when it comes to 12 volt, either one of these I think is going to be a great option for you. Just avoid that one that they're still selling for some awful reason. Now the 20 volt max lineup is obviously going to have a lot of different drills on it. And I think that's where DeWalt's lineup gets so confusing. You have Atomic, you have Brushless, you have XR, but some of the XR is compact, some of it's not. You have some prior generation XR and some current generation XR. You have FlexFold Advantage, you have Power Detect. You can still buy a brushed model of drill. I think there's actually still two brushed models of drill that you can buy. The first option, in my opinion, I'll go ahead and put the model number down here. It is a brushed option. It is not more powerful than any of these drills here. That is going to be that kind of brushed $99 kit that you can get right now at Home Depot. But there's just so many other better options. Don't buy that drill, buy something else. So the two that we do have here today and one that I don't have here, but I have reviewed, and that is going to be the DCD 777. These are the atomic drills most commonly sold at Home Depot here in the United States. The 708 is the first gen atomic. This one has been out for several years now. I never was really drawn to this one. We did end up buying it for our $99 Black Friday special. It's an okay drill, but it is nothing special or amazing in terms of performance. The DCD-794, the second generation of, and that is where the Atomic got even smaller. This is actually DeWalt's shortest front to back drill that they offer. So let's go ahead and show the results of the testing and we'll go ahead and talk about these.
there just is not a ton that separates these two drills performance wise. Yes, this is technically the more performant drill. It is the smaller drill. It's the one on sale currently. So likely it's the one I'm gonna tell you to go out and get if you're looking for one of these drills. This entry level or kind of first step into the brushless world, they're not bad tools, but they are certainly not going to be the performance monsters that I think a lot of people associate DeWalt with when they think they're buying into DeWalt. Now, as I mentioned, I've also tested the DCD777. That is going to be kind of the $99 base brushless model that you have over at Lowe's. It is a bigger drill. I would not recommend it over these two. Performance wise, it's right in line with these tools. The big benefit of going with these drills over going with the 12 volt is going to be that you're going to be buying into the bigger tool lineup. And so you could expand further into other things if this is what you're using to get your foot in the door. You're also going to be getting a half inch chuck with these tools where all of these in the lower tier are going to be 3 8 inch checks. If you need to be able to do, use bigger bits, these are going to be the answer, but don't necessarily expect that you're just gonna be all of a sudden go out there and drive really big bits with these tools. I only have one drill in this next class of tools that we're gonna talk about. These are going to be XR tools. XR used to be the pinnacle of brushless technology when it came to DeWalt. What we're gonna be talking about first here is going to be their compact XR. Now there are gonna be basically four models of drills you can buy in this class. You can get the prior generation, which is going to be the DCD-791 and the DCD-796. Benefits, in my opinion, of getting those tools is you are getting what I deem to be a little bit better build quality and better materials on those tools versus going with these entry-level brushless tools. The XR badge is going to carry a little bit extra power um, and it is going to get you all metal chucks. Now the 791 and 796 are still being sold at Home Depot online. You can still buy those tools, but about a year and a half ago or a year ago at this point, they came out with the DCD-800 and the DCD-805. Now, if you've watched any of my previous DeWalt drill videos, you've heard me gush about how awesome this drill is. That is something that I have not been shy about telling you how I feel, and it is a performance monster when it comes to pound for pound, how big it is and what it's able to do. Let's go ahead and show you the testing of this drill, and then I'll talk about these four compact XR drills and kind of where I think you should put your money if you're buying into the platform. All right, so like I mentioned, we're only really showing the one tool here. The 791 and 796, they're not bad drills. They're not as compact as the 800 and the 805. They don't have as much performance. In my opinion, that is the kind of drill that if you're getting a really good deal on that one and buying that as your DeWalt entry point, you're gonna get a good quality tool. It's just not going to be a performance monster, but it will beat every single one of these drills we've already talked about today, but it's gonna be a little bit more heavy duty, a little bit more well-built. When you start talking about the 800 and the 805, you're starting to talk about prior generation full-size drill performance in this compact form factor. This drill is legitimately able to do some big bits, powerhouse of a tool. The Compact XR 800 and 805, in my opinion, are the best drill that DeWalt makes. This is really the drill I would tell you to get above just about any of these. All right, so now we're gonna be talking about two different drills, and that's going to be the DCD-996 and the DCD-991. This is the hammer drill version that I have here, the 996. The DCD-991 is going to be your drill driver version of this drill. This drill is not a bad drill. I think the problem with this one currently being the full-size one is the performance of this one, the Compact XR, is now roughly equivalent to this drill, in my opinion. And most of my testing, it is going pretty much toe to toe with it. And it is able to do a lot of the things can, this one can do, but with much more compact size. I do think this drill is well built and well made, 
but in terms of power and performance as it compares to the 800 and the 805, I think it's just an old tool at this point. I would not recommend going out and buying this drill just because I know what else there is out there in a smaller, more compact package, or I know what there is out there in power and performance. We'll go ahead and show the performance of this one when we show our next drill, which is going to be the 999. All right, so now this is currently the top dog as far as specs and performance go in terms of what they state. It does have more unit watts out when paired with a flex volt battery than what they claim on the power detect with the eight amp hour battery. As you see, we do have the eight amp hour battery tonight. Let's go ahead and just start out right up front with doing the testing for the 996 and now the 999 with both of these batteries. And then we'll go ahead and come back and talk about that. Okay, so there you have it. You'll have seen the results. You'll know what they were. If I'm being honest, there's not a hugely noticeable performance difference between the two batteries, other than both of these batteries are awesome. And I think the drill does a good job of taking advantage of both of the batteries. And so I think if you're gonna be running this tool, run it on one of these two batteries. And then the other piece of it is, you don't have to go out and get the FlexVolt Advantage in my opinion. Right now over at Lowe's, they have the power detect on for 249 with the eight amp hour battery for the kit. As it comes to performance with these tools, this is the most premium offering that they have. The 996 to the 999 and the 998 is a very noticeable difference in power. The three seed gearbox is a benefit. I do think this drill does masonry pretty well, but if you are on the DeWalt lineup and you need to go ahead and get a drill, I think that you're definitely going to be going for either the 999 or the 998. That is where you're gonna have the most benefit. As you can see, DeWalt has a lot of drills out there. And for some foolish reason, I have a lot of them. And so I've been able to test a lot of them. I think this is an area where DeWalt could possibly thin the herd a little bit and give a more clear picture of their lineup. But as it stands right now, I hope this video has been helpful to help explain which drills are going to be kind of worth your time and money and which ones are maybe worth avoiding. Go ahead and let me know if you have any questions about any of these drills. Let me know down in the comments if a video like this is helpful and if you found it interesting to see all the different options that a tool company has at their drill platform. I think there's not a lot of different companies that could really say they have this many tools in a single category like DeWalt does. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like this video. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. Until next time, I'll catch you on Tinker with Tools.